All right, so we're gonna start off the procedure for placing a cephalic catheter by shaving the cat's arm. And it's going to be all the way around so that the tape can stick. Heather is holding the elbow out to help from the cat retracting it so that I can have better access to shave. have a good portion. We're going to get some of this fur out of the way here. And we're going to scrub the site so it is sterile. Starting off with a Chlorhex scrub. And we are being careful to never go back over the site after our initial scrub. And I'm following that with saline, since you don't need alcohol to come after the Chlorhex. And I'm on to my third and final scrub to ensure complete sterilization. Okay. Once the site is scrubbed, we can go back with some dry gauze on the back side of the arm here and just pat it down so that the tape will stick a little easier. And also this will give me a chance to get my fingers dry so I don't slip while placing the catheter. So I have my catheter here. And I believe it is a 22 gauge catheter that we'll be placing in this cat. I'm going to place it in the cephalic vein, but before doing so, I wanna make sure that my seal is broken just so it's easier to push in. Heather's holding off the vein for me, and I have a nice clear shot here. I'll be going in bevel up. Waiting for my flash. I have my flash, so I'm going to push in just a little bit further and slide the catheter on. Now if Heather is going to release here and hold onto this for me so that I can put our T-port on has been prepped with saline. Once I have that on, I will make sure that this is unclamped. <laughs> there we go. And pull back to make sure that I am still in. Now I'm going to roll this to the outside here, and that's so later I have easier access to it. I'm going to start by placing the sticky side up. Heather's going to help me get that. <laughs> and that's going to be placed under and over. Heather's doing an excellent job holding the cat here. And I'm being careful not to go over my actual site that I've pushed in. This is our initial anchor piece. It's going to hold the catheter in place. My next step is to go back actually over the site. And I have a little bit much tape here, but always better to have more than less, <laughs> I say. And I'm not putting it on tight. It's very loose, so that way we're not restricting anything. My next piece is going to anchor the catheter from the back side. I'm going to slip this under. I've already pre-cut a slit into this to make for easier anchoring. Uh, some people don't always put that slit in there, but it can help. So I'm going to put this in here and bring that around. 
ensuring that I am able to change that T port if necessary. My final piece on the actual catheter will be anchoring the T port and making sure that I anchor this top side so that it'll hold as well as the other side in a crisscross fashion. Just to make sure that I'm still in, I'm going to flush one more time. I'll go ahead and close this off and then anchor my flush set here. Just taking a little bite out of here to hold it down and then anchoring it to the leg of the cat. Being sure that that could also be changed and not completely covering its entry point. And that would be a cephalic catheter.